All you guys have to do is turn off your Mac. And once we turn it on, we're gonna press Command R, okay? Once we're there, we're just gonna wipe it clean and then we'll proceed. So even before you turn on your Mac, you can be pressing and holding Command R. Okay, so just hold on to them and then just turn on your Mac. So I'm gonna do that right now. And as you're turning on, just hold it for 13 seconds, okay? As it turns on, that's what you're gonna see. I'm still holding Command R. It's around 13 seconds. Once I see this loading bar, that's when I can let go. I usually like to hang on to it till the little bar just goes a little bit more. And yeah, just about now I just let go of it. Okay, I let go of Command R and I just let it load. So what we're gonna get is a few options and we're gonna wipe our disk clean and then do a fresh reinstall of the OS X. Once again, this is the long way, so this will take a lot of time to do. Okay, so a couple of hours, and uh, even for your backup with Time Machine will take you a long time if you haven't done it in a while. Anyways, once we're here, once everything gets loaded up, you're gonna see reinstall OS X and then disk utility. We're gonna do reinstall OS, that's the second option. We're gonna do that after we go to disk utility and erase our HD. By erasing our HD, everything, will be erased, all our programs, everything. So we're gonna have to reinstall all those once we do this. Um, if you just do the installation of the OS, and that's all you do, all your documents will still be there. So you can't just do that. So right now we're gonna choose the second option, which says iMac HD. And uh, from there, we just have to go to Erase. And you're gonna see it as Mac OS Extended. That's the right one. Uh, the name and iMac HD, you can change it right now if you like. I'm just gonna leave it as is. And we can just do it security options. We have erase, we have erase free space. What we actually want in this case, uh, if you guys are gonna sell it, go into security options and you want the most secure way. Okay, so you want to do this. Now, this is the safest way to do it. Other than that, if you guys don't really care, you can just go to fastest and that's it. So in, um, in my case, because I can't take that long doing this, I'm just going to go to the fastest way. Uh, I'm not really even going to care about the most secure way at the moment. But I suggest if you guys are, are um, for sure um, selling your Mac or whatever, then choose the most secure. And once again, I'm just going to choose fastest. Okay. Um, from there, just click on Erase. It's going to tell you, okay, you're going to erase everything. And this will take some time, okay? Um, erasing, it's erasing your whole terabyte. If you guys have more than a terabyte, it's going to take you longer. It all depends. So right now, it's already done. Once we are done with that, we can just close this up. Go to Reinstall OS, because we have uh, nothing to log into right now since we erased everything. So let's just uh, reinstall that. This is a long process. This will use your Wi-Fi, so you have to have your computer connected to Wi-Fi or just your Ethernet cable connected right up. If it's not doing it for you right now, you can just click on cancel. Go up here and make sure you connect to the right one. Once you're connected to the right Wi-Fi, just go to reinstall. What it's gonna do, it's gonna download the whole OS. So we're just gonna click on continue, continue, so it's gonna download and install. Okay, so that's why it takes so long for it to do everything. Um, it will take a couple of hours. Just select your first HD, okay, not the recovery. You don't need that. Then click on install. And then you have to put your Apple ID, okay? So just make sure to put your Apple ID, then click sign in. Once you click on sign in, this is what's gonna appear. It's gonna download everything. 